you're if you happen to be here later or something, uh, I'm going live. Well, obviously, I'm going live. Okay. I'm making. Mm, they smell good. <laughs> I can already smell <laughs> a tater tot casserole. Yeah. Yeah, guys. These are the ingredients we need for the tater tot casserole. Who's here? Hi, Brooke. You were the one. You're the one that wanted me to go live tonight, right? You were like, I think I think you prefer Saturday, but yeah. I'm good. How are you, Cheryl? Hi, David. Hi, SCG. Good memory, yeah. I have the best memory. I don't really have the best memory. Uh, what are you guys doing tonight on a Sunday night? So I made this before. Tata is actually have 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 you been doing? Good. I woke up really early for church. This wiped me out. Um. You watch me together. That's cool. Um, yeah, I uh, I had a really busy day. Guys, I'm sick. Oh, I'm sorry, David. Oh, better. When you go to church, it's like, it just feels like it drains my energy. And it's like, I didn't do much today. But my sister really wanted to go. Wanted me to go with her at this meeting thing. So I was like, okay, sure. That makes you more happy or whatever. So, yeah. So I made this recipe before. It's actually called a taco tater tot casserole. I found it on all recipes. You can, if you wanted to just Google and follow the recipe with me, you can. But it is on raw. There's a little video. Basically, you mix everything together and you bake it. Put cheese on top. Um, I found another recipe where they added olives, and I was like, you know what? Olives sounds really good on a taker. On a sorry, on a taco tater tot casserole. So I'm gonna try olives on the top at the very last. Maybe like the very last. I have sour cream. I have a little salad. So it's not all just casserole. Whatever. So I guess we can get started cooking. I think first I step I need to do is ground the beef. And I, I have to add the onion and garlic, which I already cut. So it'll just be easier just to, you know, all this stuff. Um, and if you enjoyed this video so far, give me a like. But right now, I'm going to set up on the kitchen. I clean the kitchen a little bit for you guys. So I hope you appreciate that. <laughs> I mean, that's super clean, but hopefully it's cleaner than it has been um but we're gonna eat over here so you, you don't see the background that background kitchen because it'll be, always be messy after i cook so um yeah the first step is ground the beef add the onions and the garlic and i made this before i think it's my third or fourth time i did and yeah let's get started let me set up in the kitchen So, um, yeah, um, well, I did some cleaning. I cleaned, like, the cabinets. I, I really organized this. This is really messy. I did clean the stove of the oven. It used to be, like, I mean, this part is dirty right now because I just, just even, but everything, this was really, really bad. Like, it was just, like, so bad. A black, oh, my God. I cleaned that out. And I'll be cleaning the cupboards. Um, and I started, no, these are, what are these called again? Drawers or whatever. And, um, what else did I clean? Um, oh, I cleaned the wall. So I'm doing some cleaning. Um, what else did I clean? Oh, I cleaned these. These are really bad. So I did some cleaning in case you were wondering. If I'm not, the reason why I'm not making that many videos right now is because I'm clean. Um. I do have lights in the background, so hopefully they won't 
that won't you won't see much oh yeah this part right here is clean like that part by the water i moved the air fryer i thought maybe it'd be less messy but let's see here let me see if i can get a picture of the stove okay so we're gonna start cooking we're gonna just start with the beef cook the beef guys first step Get some organic grass-fed beef. Cut it up a little bit. I like this panel. Oh, guys, I got... I got the new iPhone 13, so if it's a better quality, let me know. Thank you. I got this at Mervyn's. I'm just getting calls. <laughs> um, it's be funny if I said it. I got this at Mervyn's, guys. Like, Mervyn's is back. So let me know if the quality is better. I think it's better. Hopefully it's better. So this is my first live video on my new phone. This is exciting. Um, yeah, so anyways. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna do it. A lot better? Oh, thank you, good. So it was worth the upgrade? Cool. That's all I really care about. My phone was not, it was acting really weird. The battery was bad and like, I was just kidding about Mervyn's. <laughs> I was just kidding about the Mervyn's thing. Um, but Mervyn's reminds me of cold. That's why I said it. <laughs> Let me wash my hands. I'm trying to focus on PlayStation. What is that? the direction I think it just says ground the beef let me see making sure I love reference too if you guys want to um follow the recipe you want to see what I'm making um go to go to allrecipes.com and click take and click on uh, our like not click search ta taco tater tot casserole that's what that's what the best recipe i'll be making um and um yeah quality is awesome okay cool Oh yes, yeah, so I just read the, re 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 the directions. So basically, it says cook the meat until it's done, and then you add the, all, all the and then you add the onion, garlic, which I already chopped up, seasoning, corn, I think black beans. Hi Anna, how's it going? Um, yeah. So let me switch it so you guys can see what I'm doing. I should probably read the comments better. Hi, Mario, Lawson, Jim. How are you? Am I excited for work tomorrow? Hell no.
So I like making this dish because it's for one person, it's just easy to freeze. And if I come home on a really busy day, it's just like, it's just so easy to make. Especially for one person, because it, it, it freezes so well. I always have it with sour cream on top. It's so good. Today I did it. I just filmed a Starbucks video trying three Starbucks drinks. So I'm not like, eh, you know, I'll probably be hungry after this. But, and, but it takes like 45 minutes to bake in the oven. But normally I'm not like, no, I'm not, not super. I'm getting hungry. I'm getting hungry. Actually. Yeah. Oh, yeah, for lunch I just had a seafood salad. I didn't really have much for lunch. All right, let me know in the comments below what are you guys doing right now. It's a Sunday. Um, I think it's about 6 p.m. California time. So what are you guys doing? Are you having made dinner? Are you making dinner? What's for dinner, guys? <laughs> let me know. You know, I'm going to add some salt, pepper, and some 21 seasoning. Oh, this is really cold for I don't think. This isn't good anyway, salt. Pepper. One more seasoning salute. Let's get it some good flavor. Can't yeah, look my boyfriend, but I had a meatball stuff earlier. Yeah, the quality of the big looks way better. Oh, cool. Good. You know, it was worth the investment. All right, guys. So I had an iPhone 11. If you want a better video, get iPhone 13. That already looks yummy. Oh my god, wait till you see that for those of you. eat healthier so you probably notice I'm cooking more I don't did I oh the only fast food restaurant I went to was not really fast food it was like a restaurant but I had sliders besides that and french fries that was my only I think bad meal this week and tomorrow I have a, I'm gonna eat a salad for lunch I can film it this other way. I just don't want to see the dirty dishes. Hopefully, I have some dishes in the. Maybe I can do that. Maybe the, I think that's better, huh? Maybe you can see like the meat better. Anything fun planned this week? This could, I mean, next week or this week? I don't um, know. It's working. Oh, I do have some bad news to tell you guys. I know I tell you like at dinner. Like, I don't actually tell you. It's kind of disappointing news, but it's okay. It's not like terribly bad. But I don't know if I should tell you. Maybe I should just tell you at dinner. Remind me at dinner when we eat together. It's like it's pretty 
I think it's done. So now we add the onion and the garlic. All right, so this bowl is a mixture of onion and garlic. I don't know if you can see it, but we add that. You're supposed to add a whole pack of taco seasoning, but I only have, it's, it's mostly, I don't know, I have some here. I need to get more taco seasoning, I guess. Where's my Mexican corn? Alright, I have some corn. Frozen corn, this is super white corn from Trader Joe's. I don't think this is a lot, but the same 16 ounces. So. <laughs> I'm not me. Okay. What if it's frozen though? But it'll cook. black beans. I don't know if I'm going to add the whole can. I don't want them to be too beany. Let's see here. Great. I don't have a can open. Oh yeah, yeah. I guess I add most of it. I don't know. Okay. What else do we have today? Onion, we've got the garlic, taco seasoning, and black beans. Stir in another 10 minutes. Alright, so what we're going to do now is we're just going to stir this for 10 more minutes. This makes a lot of, this makes a lot. Makes a lot. <laughs> but it's good. Because you know I love tacos, so it's like a taco themed casserole. Thank you for the five of likes. The onions, I didn't really chop them really small because I was like, I'm just was lazy and I was just like, I, I still like onions big, you know. Until it I was just thinking about you because you're always on my live, especially in the evenings. 
I think we're just putting some toilet paper in it. <laughs> hey, Melissa. You were on my other channel, that's right. Give a little apartment tour. Um, not tonight. My house is a mess. My weekend's been busy. I went to church. I woke up 6.30 in the morning. No, 7.30 to go to church. Um, I actually am going to be doing an apartment tour, I think, soon. Um, I'm going to get my house cleaned up. I just I just have a bunch of junk now. It's just really messy right now. It's just so hard, and I can't even, when I go, when you go to church, I can't even do anything today. I can't even, like, I wanted to clean my closet out, and I just, church just takes too much time. <laughs> I just don't have time to do this. I can only do a couple, I don't know. But I will be doing an apartment tour. I think I'm going to be doing, I have an apartment tour, empty one. If you go to my channel, tap apartment studio tour, you'll see it, but it's empty. But I'm planning to do a, once I get my house cleaned and organized, this is going to take time because I work a lot. I am planning to do an updated apartment tour where, it, where everything's furnished. I haven't done an apartment tour where, it's, where, it's, where it's, everything was furnished. Just empty. How long did I church for? Um, well, I went to I meet mean, with my sister because she wanted to be a membership, be a member of the church. And she wanted me to come with her. For support or something and I did that so I was at church from about 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. then after that I went to Safeway and I got everything for the for the casserole and I was then I had my lunch salad and I took a short nap because I was tired and then I woke up and you know when I want to do my Starbucks video I was inside a busy day I didn't have any time to clean it's so hard I don't know why I need to do 10 minutes this should be done can start on the is it California no it's a Baptist church I actually used to go to this church when I was a kid how do you like church it's okay I'm you know I my sister loves this church I'm just not big on this church I think I like I think it's really big I think I like smaller church my left church is better. My neighbor invited me to his church because he's he just plays a guitar or something. And he says it was a really small church. And I really like small churches. Did you grow up religious? I did. Yes, my mom is extremely religious. Like, like really mm -hmm. I probably will go next week. Because my sister, I think, wants me to come. But I have a client at 2.30. Unless I have a client. I don't know. I'll probably at least go to the 9, 9 a.m. meetings or because it's like four meetings. If you want to become a member, you guys ever know about that? Have you, are you a member of your church? My sister has to go to four meetings and then talk to the pastor about something. I don't know. To become a member of the church. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay. Honestly, this is pretty done. I'm gonna, and then you have to mix it in a bowl with the tater tots. Let me get that out. Yeah, I got a bowl. I don't know how I'm gonna film the bowl part. I'm gonna do that. Can't see it. How am I gonna do the hole like that? Well, hopefully you'll see. Maybe I'll put it like this. And then you put the everything in the bowl. This is actually a really easy recipe. It's not really that complicated, and you get like a lot of leftovers. I recommend it for single or even for two people. It is perfect. 
because you can have leftovers the next day. And if you like Mexican taco recipes, this is a winner. And yeah, I make this about, I would say maybe one every couple of months or something. I'm going to try and make this. Oh yeah, you should, Tamara. It's good. Especially if you like Mexico, like not Mexico, Mexican or taco, because this has corn and black beans and I'm gonna add sour cream and olives on top. It's gonna be amazing, actually. So I'm gonna try all this. All of this is gonna be good. Um, yeah. I love corn. This corn I got from Trader Joe's is like a it's called a white sweet corn. Um, maybe if you like mushrooms, I don't like mushrooms, but if you like mushrooms, maybe, I, I don't know if mushrooms go, I mean, it is a Mexican dish. I mean, maybe if you really love mushrooms. I prefer to don't like mushrooms, so. Sorry about the scratch. Yeah, I just want to get every little bit of here. I don't want to like waste anything, you know. Frozen pizza. You know, I've been reviewing some frozen meals on TikTok and I reviewed one last week and after that I felt really sick, but I don't know. I was like, nah, I don't want to do frozen meals for a while. I need it's great. But frozen pizza is not bad. Hey, when, I was just thinking about you. When did I add I was like thinking she was supposed to be here. And literally you are here. It was like funny. I hope you're... Yeah. So now we're going to add the... Let me show you. Tater tops. So like it's 30 ounces. They only call for like 16 ounces. So I'll be... Half of, half of this recipe. So that means I have some left over. So guys, if you have any ideas for a video with tater tots, like a like sloppy joes or a hammer, like what what should I do for a no, like a all right, maybe I can save this for later for another casserole dish. But let me know if you have any ideas for any tater tot recipe. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna eyeball it. Oh. I'm gonna mix it in here. I don't know how many is enough. I don't know, that should be enough. I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna read the comments. You could probably make a really good breakfast. Oh, good idea. Breakfast. I never thought about that. Hi, Hoobie. Have you updated your Wish Amazon list again? Um, a little bit. I just, I get it. You don't feel like cooking. Discord chat. Okay, cool. I don't have Discord. Did you see Footy Booty shaped her head? Did she really? You know, I don't watch Footy Booty anymore. All she does is lie, so I'm not big on people who lie. I just think everything she does is fake. I mean, I used to like her, but I don't know. So basically, you mix it. Like that. See how I mix it? You guys watching what I'm doing? So I get like that. <laughs> you can make a protein? Uh, hmm. Think about that. I've watched very, I'm gonna, I, if you want, I'll show you who I watched before, like lately. Um, just don't watch a lot of people. I don't watch a lot of mukbangs or videos, but um, 
I'm just trying to make more money. I'm still sure, so watching videos on how to make more money. Pretty much. Um, so. All right. Looks like it's pretty mixed. Let's see what else I have to do. I think in my other channel. Um, when, oh, and about the third, fourth cup of Mexican cheese. Third, fourth cup. So now you're supposed to mix it with this cheese, and I got this. I have taco blend, taco seasoning, and cheese. I've never seen this before. I guess it's perfect for the recipe. Let me see how much third fourth cup is. One second. Oh, it's almost a third fourth cup. Just measure it. I don't know. I don't know if I like protein. I'm not big on gravy. I'm gonna try this cheese. Taco seasoning. We'll see. <laughs> oh, there is seasoning in here. I see it. Oh, well, that's too much on me. All right, so you're supposed to put some cheese on here, like that. And then you're supposed to mix it like that, so it's all mixed together. Put a little bit extra, but that's fine. So, I think you just bake it. I think that's the next step. It's pretty easy. And then you're supposed to add some of this, um, it's over here. A little bit of enchilada sauce on the bottom and then you're supposed to mix it on top, I think, so. Alright, so I got some enchilada sauce, mild. I'm almost done with this, and I'm gonna respond to comments. I know I'm getting some comments, but it's hard to respond to comments right now when I'm making this. But. Mm, that's good. Oh, that's spicy. I'm just going to do a little bit more. There, there you go. Mm -hmm, hmm. Okay, now what? I think that's just good. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, so 
the next step is you're going to put this tater sauce mixture in the casserole. Casserole. <laughs> like that. I just have to have a bite of this. Mmm. That is. Oh my god, it's so good. <laughs> I'm glad I chopped the onions really big. So tomorrow, Monday, I'm always still trying on Monday, so I just basically like to be having this so I don't have to cook. Then you take a spoon and you kind of even it out like this. And then the sauce right here, we just pour the rest of the sauce over here like that. It's gonna be really saucy. And it might be spicy because en enchilada sauce is a little spicy. All right, then you like this, mix it like that. You guys ever made a tater tot casserole before? For me, I never was like really into tater tot casseroles. But I made one, I was like, oh my god, this is really good. And it's like a taco theme, like a taco theme casserole, you know? I think the next is you bake it, let me make sure. Bake for 40 minutes. 375. Yeah, so the next step is to bake it for 375 for 40 minutes. So that will be about 40 minutes. I need a timer. Hold on, let me just do this. And the oven is good. This barely fits because this is a big casserole pan. So I need a I need a timer or something. Hold on. My sister's calling me. She has a headache right now. She wanted to know what kind of oils to use for headaches. I told her lavender. If you guys think of any other ideas, let me know. To be able to like, I can, so this is my old phone. I can have it only for 30 days because I got a plan where like, So funny, my sister doesn't work. She's more tired than I am. So now I'm going to read some, I'm going to answer you guys' comments. Sorry, I was cooking. So let me see. Where am I going to? Oh, hi, Justine. Back to your old email. Your old thing. Um, okay. She's having a breakdown. Um, you think it's money grab or real drama? Oh, um, take my crust sounds amazing. Yes. I got that cheese at Safeway and I never seen it before. First time seeing it. 
I don't watch Amber Lynn. Oh, Alex is shook. You know, I watch him. His voice is really just relaxing. With the, his microphone, it's, I really like his voice. But I'm just, I'm not big on drama channels anymore. It just t it takes away my energy. I think I show you when I'm watching. Oh, yes, yeah, me really good. I'm good. Um, it's fine. I don't care. Uh, maybe I'll send you. Um, when's my next day off? Next, next Saturday. I, I get, I get the weekends off. I have, I used to bake them all the time when I lived on the board. Quick and easy leftovers. Lavender and mint. Oh, peppermint oil. Oh, okay. Oh, she's the she wrote me. Definitely, we definitely don't have Safeway. Oh. You don't know what to make? Um... You don't know what to make? Well, I don't know. What are you craving? Oh, <sighs> oh I didn't get a message from her. Well, I was told by a friend that if you put lavender oil on your, and you have a headache, like on your temples and your head, maybe your wrist, and it does help. I don't know what it is, so that's why I always just say lavender. So I don't know. She said she'll take a bath. She may not have, because I was cooking. I may have, I think I might have missed her message. I'm not sure, but yeah. No, but this this cheese was taco seasoning added to it. This is taco seasoning. Um, taco blend, and it actually has seasoning. I don't know if you can see, there's actually seasoning in there. It's really interesting, actually. i just do some cleaning up. I don't know how the cheese tastes. Oh. I mean, it had just have seasoning in it. No, no. I haven't either. It doesn't say it's new, but after a few bites, I can. Say, what is it? What it so if it's a big store, like a big grocery store, it's also the most expensive store. Yeah, probably, you know, before Whole Foods. So if you have like a really big store, or one of those stores that's kind of expensive, you, you might find it there, for sure. Yeah, yeah, you can. If I find some, I'll do a top of video. Sounds good. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm going to put my stuff away. I'll oh, say so, uh, bonds. Yeah, well, I don't think she lives in California. I think she lives out in the east somewhere, somewhere in the east. I'm not really sure where she lives. How was my weekend? Busy. Today I woke up at 7.30 in the morning to go to church on a Sunday. What the heck? Detroit. Oh, you notice my kitchen looks clean? Thank you, Joel. You're the first. Well, in the video, I did show what I cleaned. I'm cleaning them more and more. Yeah, this is going to be bomb, guys. I'm telling you, it's going to be bomb. Um, yeah, yeah, last night. Okay, so what did I do yesterday? Saturday. I know in the evening. What did I do? God, what 
did something today. Oh yeah, I filmed a video. Um, having burger sliders. I don't know if you guys saw my Instagram story. I don't really post ever, but I seem lively. Oh really? Cool. <laughs> Um, I'm trying, somebody commented on my last video, one of my videos, and says I, I was looking depressed. I thought, you know what, maybe I should just, I don't know, do something different. Um, but yeah, um, well, I did this, I did do a Starbucks video today. Maybe that's why. A lot of caffeine, guys. I don't even know where I was going, but, um, yeah, so Saturday, um, I don't know what I did in the morning. God, I thought I did something in the morning. I can't remember what I did in the morning. But um, I did a sliders video. Oh, that's right. Saturday I got my iPhone. That took, with the process, yeah, it took a while. And then, um, yeah, I got my iPhone on Saturday. And then um, after that, I filmed a video having sliders and french fries. That's the first mukbang video I'll see you might with my new iPhone. And then... After that, I cleaned my kitchen. I didn't, I just face, well, I did clean the kitchen, also clean the, the cupboards and um, the walls were dirty. I, you know, so it's really nice to have that clean. Um, oh, in the morning, oh, that's, oh, Saturday. Hi, Tasha, how are you? Saturday, I cleaned, I started to clean my closet. I didn't do like everything, but I, but I, um, I organized a lot, but I still have a lot to do. Yeah, Saturday was a cleaning. That was a big cleaning day. Now today, I woke up at seven thirty to go to church. I like to say free rallies in Bel Air too. They don't have meals here. Um, yeah, I went to the church and I came back. Well, I went to Safeway to get the top casserole ingredients and I had a shrimp salad, something light. And I took a little nap. I woke up. I did my Starbucks video, and now I'm here. So. Busy weekend. Not much time to do anything. I mean, I did a lot of cleaning, but on the iPhones, yeah, the, the iPhone, the cleaning, iPhone cleaning, and my, I did a lot of videos too. I filmed a lot of videos. So. Did a lot. Um, I, I was able to edit my every plate last video. Thank God. <laughs> so. I sometimes miss my church days, but I did not miss getting up early east. The thing about church is like my sister, she she has a headache. I don't know. I don't think it's because of church, but um, <laughs> um she does. She still, and she won't take aspirin. I was like, she's one of those people that are very healthy. She's like, I won't take aspirin. I'm like, okay. So she wants to know what she can do for her headache. and So I think she's taking a hot bath right now. Did she text me? No, she did not text me. I think there's a fire by Big Sur. You guys are in California. In California. All right, so I have some tater tot recipes. Uh, I have extra tater tots, so if you have any ideas, for tater tots, I think someone suggested breakfast. Let me know. Um, yeah, I don't think she, I think she changed her mind on Reiki. But she did. I don't think she wants Reiki anymore. Um, so you know, if yeah, so but Reiki would be great actually. Joe, did you see that cleaning video I sent you? I'm just curious. That was my, my favorite cleaning video. Don't forget to tell you, remind me about the bad news I have to tell you when I eat my food. How 
Did you get certified at the Reiki? Um, I just took classes, really easy. I think more than more than I needed, just because I wanted to be felt comfortable and I wanted to get more instruction. And each teacher teaches different things, and um, I think that's why I'm so good at it. Um, and I love it so much. Um, but you just type Re Reiki class in just city and state you want to do it in, and then you can do Reiki if you want. Reiki one, two, and three. It's better to take all three levels because. You're a Reiki master and people dislike if you had Reiki people like dislike when you're fully attuned, you know. I'm gonna clean the dishes as we wait for the I just feel like I don't want to have a lot of dishes to clean. I'm really tired. Oh, you're still eating fast food? If, you, if you're still here, I'm not sure. Erin, you do appear to be more bright-eyed and lively since you started taking your vitamins. Do you feel better? I do, but I stopped my vitamins. I'm trying it on. Oh, I know. Oh, guys, I know what it is. Let me, let me show you. I'm taking some. I am taking something. So I am taking something. I haven't taken it in a couple. It is doing something for me. It's called rib, ribose powder. I don't know if I pronounced that right. So basically, it, it does give you energy. And I think it helps give you nutrition. Like the right nutrition in your body. Like, it, I think, I don't know. It might help digest your food. I'm not sure. But, um... I don't know. Um, you put a little bit, I just put a little bit in the water and it do, it helps. And I, I want to get more energy and I just want to have more focus. Oh, another thing I'm doing is I'm cleaning my house and I think that's helping with my energy. Like I'm clearing the clutter and I think that's helping with my mind and my energy as well. I like it. I think I'm not noticing a change. I don't have a lot of it. Just a little sprinkle in the water. I mean... It depends, but also I had some, I also had three Starbucks coffees <laughs> for my video, so that could be a part of it. I've been taking vitamin D, and it's helping with my energy levels. Oh, really good, I'm cool. That's cool, I'm cleaning, is a self-care, help, a form of self-care, yeah. Yeah, I've been just really just want to clean my house. Like, I don't know why. I just like really focused. I want to do my new apartment tour video. Not my new apartment. I want to do my apartment tour, studio apartment tour, and I want everything to be clean and organized. And um, it's getting better. It's not 100% yet. So I'm excited about that. Look into nascent audio for fatigue and mental block. Oh, interesting. When what your stocks video? Hmm, I'm not really sure. I have, I filmed two of it. Hey, you guys can decide. You want to no, I have to do the burger first because that's already on my computer. Clear space, clear mind. Yeah, maybe that's what it is. Um Um, I do not know when the Starbucks video will be up. Oh, I really don't know because, oh, that video is going to be a really cool video. I filmed it outside. This time I picked, instead of choosing who I wanted to do the Starbucks videos, I actually picked it. I put your, all your suggestions in the bag and I randomly picked it. And so, because I wanted it to be, I don't know, I just wanted to, I don't know why I did that, but. Uh, and one drink you'll see in the video is my favorite. You, you'll see it. Right. Yeah, I feel outside, and I wanted to do a video outside on my new phone just to see what the outside looks like on my new phone. So, you like my outside? I, I think I'm gonna film more outside videos. And the problem with me when I eat outside, the bees always attack me. 
and maybe because I'm eating meat or maybe they like sauces. Like I, I eat a lot of, I don't know, I don't know what it is about. And that, these interrupt the video. So that's one of the reasons why I don't do live. I mean, that's why I don't do videos on the outside anymore because the bees, one of the reasons. It can be cold, that's fine. I just don't want, I could wear a jacket, no problem. But it was really nice to be outside and it just, it was sunny today. It felt really good, you know. Twenty-two minutes. Cheese. Excited. Why did Foodie Booty shape her hair? Our head. <laughs> That's funny. I want to know a couple of ways. Oh, you should. Do you have a place you could do it, like a backyard or something? People love outside videos. Like my subscribers, they get so happy when I film outside. The thing about outside is when I get home, it's already dark. So I would have to do it. Yeah, there's no way I can film outside. Like when I get home, I would have to do it on the weekends. That's the only problem. It's already dark. Um, you have the idea to film in the cemetery? Really? The cemetery? Next to your restaurant. We can't wait to see it. Yeah. I can't wait to eat it. <laughs> Put in my trailer park. There's a couple of parks. Oh, parks. I was thinking if I wanted a park. I kind of want to. I, I was thinking like, what do, you, what do you like? What do you like? Like this video? Eating in a park, but just eating like. A sandwich, not like Subway. That's like just like you, what you make at home. I have an idea. I don't know. No, I did not eat the casserole. It's cooking. We have about thirty more minutes. It's cooking right now. So I'm excited. So I was thinking about moving out and getting an apartment, like a bigger space, then I realized, no, I like this place too much. <laughs> you know, since we have the, since we have to wait 20 minutes, I'll tell you the kind of bad news. This is disappointing. Might as well just tell you because, um... all right, so, um. Remember when I was going to go to Santa Barbara with my mom, my brother? Well, that's not going to happen anymore. Um, I I don't know how to say it, but like, I guess my mom and brother, they don't really have a lot of money right now, and they just don't want to be broke, and I get it. It's just disappointing, and I am kind of don't have a lot of money right now anyways. <laughs> and it's going to be expensive to bring a, not to rent. Um never move i know i love the place so much it yeah and so yeah i'm not gonna go to santa barbara i mean i could possibly still go but i don't know go myself maybe they don't want to go because of the money it's okay um yeah it just stays there just don't have the money right now to spend and we've been doing this they don't really want to do the, cel the birthdays, you know, do a big celebration because it's just it's very expensive. And like if they do it for me, I would have to do it for my mom and my brother and it would just be a lot of money. And so I don't know what I want to do on my birthday. I haven't really decided if I should go anywhere, stay here. I'm trying to get back to Uber Eats. They just, they finally accepted my insurance information. So I can um, I'm trying to figure out. I kind of want to go back and start the more food deliveries because my Reiki business has definitely slowed down um, a lot. I think because of the new virus and I, I think maybe food deliveries might be really, really popping right now. I have a feeling. So I really should be on the road. The only thing about the food deliveries I can only do on the weekends because I don't want to deliver it dark. I can't see very well. I don't think it's very safe. So, um, but I I don't know. 
I did found I did find a um a little studio apartment uh air R and B, what do you call it is? I'm not sure name. In San Rafael for like under a hundred dollars. Although it hasn't the shower is outside. <laughs> so that's kinda of weird. But I don't know. I don't know much. I've also been wanting to go to Lake Tahoe. I don't know. We're gonna stay home. I'll keep looking at houses. You keep looking at houses? Oh, I know. I don't know why I do that. I think one of the reasons why I've been doing that is because um, my landlord, um, the house that was renting, um, and when they moved out, before it was twenty two hundred a month. Now she she put twenty six fifty. And I'm thinking, what if she raises my rent? Do you go to San Diego? I usually go to San Diego, San Diego once a year. I'll probably go in the summer. Manifestation girl. I know. I'm actually was watching this video earlier today. How to make five thousand dollars by doing apps. <laughs> You know, like food delivery apps, grocery apps, you know, like Instacart, like that type of stuff. So, or anything really, but this guy was focused on, I think, on the app, I think. Are you on TikTok? I, I am. It's like, eat with Karen. I almost have 500 subscribers. I never thought I would have that many. Um, it's getting really popular. This one girl. She wrote me a comment on my Eat With Karen channel. She said, oh, I, I'm here from your TikTok. I, I'm here from TikTok. I'm like, oh, cool. This is a good way to get new subscribers on my YouTube channels and get more followers. So I'm really excited. That's just it's so exciting that people on TikTok are following me now on my YouTube channel. Are you able to go live? Um, you have to have a thousand subscribers to go live. So, I'm almost halfway there. So, yeah, it'd be, it'd be fun to go live on TikTok. I think it'd be really fun. channel to be doing as well as it now I just have been going through the hard spell and, and I have a day job again. Oh, you're gonna have a day job okay my nephew wants to get a second job but he's bored because he has a girlfriend and there's like a long distance relationship and he's just bored he doesn't see her that much a couple of times a year she'll come out here he'll come out and he's just like I'm just bored though but he's like I'm bored See, I want to get a weekend job. He's going to play at Amazon. Like for an Amazon delivery driver, but... I don't know. I just know a few people that have Amazon jobs and didn't really like it. But I don't know. Okay. Just, I just say try out. See how you like it. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Hi, Sergio. How's it going? Cool, if you like it. Can you park? Okay, that's cool. I mean, I was gonna get another, like a cashier job or whatever. So I'm kind of a little bit broke, like this is a Reiki healing and not many, not many clients. But then I thought, well, I should just do like, Uber Eats food delivery. I have my own schedule. And um and I I could I yeah, I found out I could make eight hundred dollars a month. I would I would have to really focus though.
because I, one day I did do Uber Eats on a Sunday, I think, and I did it from like all day from like maybe 10 to 7. And I got like $100 that day. I was, I was so tired. I was so worn out. Pretty much all day, all day. I don't even know if I took a nap. I don't think I did. It was really hard. Um, I was like really tired. But, and I made 100 but because of the California $15 an hour minimum thing, um, thank you, Samuel. The following Thursday, I got an extra hundred dollar bonus because of the California fifty dollar hour thing or something. So that's like two hundred dollars. So if I can make a hundred dollars on the weekend, I can make two hundred dollars in a week. And I was thinking, then if I could just do that. So if, let's say, but I want to. I don't want to do eight hours all day. I started. That's just like a lot of work, and I was so tired. So if I could do maybe it was like fifty dollars on Saturday and then fifty dollars on Sunday, that's a hundred dollars, and then can probably make another hundred on Thursday because the California thing. That's my two. That's two hundred dollars a week, and then that's eight hundred dollars a month, and that's how much I was making at Walmart. So that's what I should focus on. I and I thought about today, if I got up thirty minutes earlier, and Starbucks is on my way to work, and if I like, if I got any Starbucks, I don't know, Starbucks orders, guys, on your breaks is so easy. I mean, because it's like, oh hi Tracy, how I haven't seen you in a while. Starbucks is really easy because like. The orders are already ready. You don't have to talk to the employees. It's like sitting right there. No, it's not a lot of money. It's not, not a lot of tips. It's just a Starbucks, but it's just like super easy. Um, I could probably do one delivery after work, but I don't want to deliver after dark. I just don't want to. So it's just something I'm thinking about. How are you doing? How's work? Have you done any, any Uber Eats or any or DoorDash or whatever? All right, guys, we have 11 more minutes. Are you getting paid a lot at your scanning job? You don't have to share if you don't want to. Um, I guess I can share. I usually don't share because, but it, it's fine. Um, I get paid sixteen fifty an hour. I don't know if I could do doors. I used to be and hated it. Oh, you did? DoorDash, um, you, oh yeah, I tried to put DoorDash and they wouldn't accept me because that little thing, that little thing that happened. <laughs> so it's fine. And I've been hearing a lot of bad things about DoorDash. Just, I don't know. So, and you breathe. I just want to just like log in whenever I want and log off whenever I just, I love that service, you know. But there's another service out that I want to try. I forgot what it was called. But basically it's a little bit different. It's like customers will order like the simple things like Coke, water, chips, maybe a bag of apples. It's just, just like simple, small things, nothing too crazy. And you just go at the warehouse, you wait for orders. And if you don't, if you're on a schedule and if you want to get one order, you're still gonna get your 50 bucks an hour. So I was like thinking if I could just sit in my car and wait for orders, in the meantime, do edit videos. I was like, that's pretty cool. But I don't know, I haven't even tried it out yet. So, um, oh, what happened, DoorDash? Okay. Go, wa go watch my video, Eat With Karen, Red Robin. <laughs> but the, sh the short answer is, my brother came with me one time and the manager was yelling at me because the credit card machine wasn't working and he was like, I was like, there's no way to pay for this. And he's like, well, you're not gonna pay for this. We already made the food and he was arguing with me. It was just a little bit big deal, but if you watch my Red Robin, I got deactivated because I don't know. But if you watch my Red Robin Eat With Karen video, you'll see the how I talk about it, but I just got deactivated. Um, I think you deserve more for what you do. Have you ever tried asking for a raise? No. Um, I'm not. I tried one time. I did ask one time for a raise and I got denied and I had a different job. So that was kind of weird, but um, eight minutes. Okay, cool. Um,
Yeah, I told this story before, so I don't know. Maybe some people have not heard about it, but yeah. I say more in my video. Just check it out. It's Red Robin. Eat with Karen. only Red Robin video. I'll go back and watch it. If I, I'll go back and watch it. I may have missed it. It was an older video, but at least a couple of years ago. It's okay. I was thinking maybe it was a sign and I do Uber Eats now. It's not as busy as Uber Eats, but are you still cooking? Um, it's in the oven right now. So yeah, in about 10 more minutes or so, it'll be, it'll be ready. Pretty soon, guys. I'm actually getting hungry, so that's good. Oh, that's awesome. All right, now I'm just washing the dishes, so I don't have to do a big clean up. I can have to eat. I'll just see another grocery haul video. Okay, I'll, I'll have to see if I'll to, okay, I'll have to think about that. <laughs> like I I cook for one, so I'll have to see. Um, can it be a small grocery haul? Because I can't do a big. I don't know. Let's just see. Um, but yeah. Um, did you stop going to play? I did. Um, I stopped after I got a sandwich and, and it wasn't the best quality. It didn't taste very fresh. But one time it did taste fresh. I thought about it. God, I could have got, I could have saved a lot of money if I went to Winco. But it's, Winco is not very close to me. It's like 15, 20 minutes on the freeway. I don't know. Oh, really? Okay, cool. Well, okay, cool. Um, I'll, I'll consider doing another one. Um. I just lately, I haven't been, I could have done a Safeway shopping one, but it was just for the casserole. I don't think it was anything. Um, I kind of just been doing my grocery hauls. It's what called grocery store. Too. Yeah, it's a grocery store, but it's pretty cheaper. It's a cheaper grocery store. It's like, it's just really good deals. It's, yeah, it's pretty good. I mean, if you watch Angela Spicy, she does a lot of, Angela Spicy and Mel Busy Eats, they both do a lot of Winco videos or Winco. They shop, they shop at Winco. Um, I've noticed, especially Angelina Spicy. <laughs> That's where she shops up. But, um, besides her, yeah. But, um, oh yeah, I want to tell you guys, I'm, I'm starting my weekly vlogs up. <laughs> I started filming yesterday, so I really missed my weekly vlog. I know you guys have to express that you missed it as well. So, hmm. Five more minutes. Cool. I think our major in Winco will be like a Kroger. Yeah, maybe. You like the video with Joel? Oh, a lot of people, I got a lot of people that said they want split screens next time. You could try that if you do it next time. I, I prefer big because you can see the food better and every time a person talks, it goes to them. But it looks like a lot of people want split screen, so maybe I'll just do that one. We just think split screen. How is Aria doing? She's good. Just busy. Yeah, it was really good. Cool. It's funny. It was funny because when he told me he wanted to do a, 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 a Zoom, I didn't know he wanted to do a. He didn't wait. I didn't know he wanted me to record it and put it on a video. Like, okay. Was it hard to edit the Zoom? But um, the video was so long. I couldn't. It was an hour long. I wouldn't let me edit an iMovie. So what I did, I just did some small editing. 
because he talked about where I live and I, did, oh, I wanted to cut that part out. And I was able to edit that. Guys, did you know that if you're a YouTuber, I, after you do a video, you can edit it um, split screen. I really like, okay, I guess I really like split screen. Um, the thing about split screen is you can't really see the food very well. But just my loop. That's the only problem. You can't really see the food very well. But um, you can edit a video after you put it on YouTube. Like, like through the YouTube thing. I didn't know that. And I, I tried it and I was like, oh, you could, very, very simple. You can't do any special effects or whatever, but like, if it's, if it's simple, cut and edit, whatever. So I was able to edit this, the part where he said where he lived. <laughs> so. After I finish washing, rinsing the silverware out, I use the YouTube editor all the time. Oh, really? Oh, it's easy. Well, honestly, I had to like, um, I had to like go on YouTube and figure out how to do it because I, I, I tried to do it and I couldn't figure out how to do it. So I had to go on YouTube to figure it out and I was like, okay. It wasn't too bad. Anything fancy idea on my phone? Oh really? I edit on my um my Mac. It seems to work pretty well. Um what I do. All right, last silverware that we're gonna check. It's done. I said add the cheese. So, no, it's done. It's bubbling. I think it's gonna be spicy though. Ugh. I'm just going to add the cheese. All right, guys, it's almost done. The cheese has to melt. Um, I'm gonna get my salad ready. Just gonna have a simple salad. It's like so simple. Just something like, and then I like to add ranch dressing to the salad because it's. It's starting to cool down my well. Yeah, I think it's might be spicy because for me it's an inch of water sauce, so this is 
It's simple. Not be too crazy. Alright guys, you want to see my lunch tomorrow? I don't know if this is going to be good. It has a lot of eggs. So it's called Everything Avocado Salad. So it's lettuce, carpal eggs, Jacoby cheese blend, and everything seasoning. So as you can see, there's two portions of eggs. So it looks very eggy. I don't know. I'll try it out. <laughs> That looks delicious, really. I don't know. No meat. I don't know. I'm trying to eat healthier, so if I have no meat, that's, that's how it happens. No meat. Lately, I've been trying to cook like a really good meal that I can freeze on Sunday, and then Monday I'll have I don't have to cook. It's always funny because I get so tired. West Texas, cool, and like, um, and then I get a freeze bread. Salad, just simple mix with olives and cheese. Nothing too crazy. Either. This is ranch from Walmart. Be too much filter. All right, let's see here. The picture was your grandparents. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. That was an older picture. I think I was about 20 in that picture. Oh my God. Alright, I'll give you guys a close up. Listen. It's gonna be really hot. This is gonna be really hot though, but you guys can see it from here. Cool. Alright, let's see here. What I can do my camera. Mervyn's. Somebody talked about Mervyn's. I saw a Mervyn's video today. So here it is. Looks really bubbly, right? I, every weekend as a kid. So. Doesn't this look good or what? Ah. So I'm just going to I'm gonna do this one. Let's see, it has the most cheese. This is gonna be so hot. Oh my god. I'm gonna add olives. Oh, I'm gonna have sour cream too. <gasps> Look at that. Oh yeah. How am I gonna do this? I'm gonna go. <laughs> oh. It looks amazing. Thank you. There we go. Now I add some olives. Is 
which is this is my first time adding olives to it because I saw a different recipe of tater tot casserole and they added olives. I thought that's like a really good idea because it's like a tofu tater tot casserole. And then I add sour cream. Um, but I'm gonna do that in a second. Um, hold on a second. Wait. Make sure you can see me. No, you can't see me. Okay. Oh, you really add olives to everything? Okay, cool. Okay, I think that you'll be able to see it. Another close-up. This is what I usually do. This is salad with ranch dressing because it kind of cools down the spice. I'll just left out a lot of sour cream on here. Might want more, so I'll just I guess like, that's how I do it. Uh, <laughs> uh yeah. Don't know why. Oh, I mean, I guess it's water. Kind of craving Pepsi, but I had so much caffeine today. I think I really just have water. So I'm trying to reduce my soda anyway. I'll never sit behind that person. I'm going back. I wish I can keep my iPhone. I can read your messages from right here, but I have to return it. Oh, you would you would okay. Uh -huh. Um, yeah, I'm just following the recipe. I don't know if this is too hot to eat. Let me see if it is. <laughs> It's really hot. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that steam. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. It is good. This cheese. I am eating down a way. Actually. <laughs> For me, it's, it is a little spicy, but that's cool. Mm -hmm. 
It's so good, the sour cream. Might, it just tastes like so much flavor. And the corn. What about cheese? Mm -hmm. It's good. Tortilla chips? Yeah, you're right. It lets us cool down a little bit. Try some salad. What you guys? We're getting for dinner tonight. Yeah. It's almost eight p.m. It's late. It is what it is. Beef fajitas. Oh, that sounds really good. Mmm. You missed another vacation? Really? Hey, Bonnie. 1050. It's almost 11 here, really? I don't have so much left over, oh my god. And my freezer space is limited, so that should be interesting. Sour cream makes it taste so much better. Like oh, a lot of sour cream. Mmm. Mm-hmm. This is at Kohl's. Or Mervyn's, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> what have I done this week? Hmm. What have I done? I have some dessert I got at Dollar Tree. Nothing too crazy, but something small. I'll, I'll keep with you. I had a membership. Nobody wants to join. Well, only one person. <laughs> Valentine's Day? No, no. What should I do? Should I go on a date, guys? <laughs> this is so good, oh my god. That's a deal? Yeah. But it's also good playing, guys. <laughs> it's really good like this. Alright. But if you want to mix it up and put it in the quesadilla, that's good. I don't add Valentine's. I'm not dating anyone right now. I don't feel like, I don't really feel like going on a date anyways. I'm doing a solo, solo. I'm eating a tater tot casserole. What did you make? What? Give me this. What did you What did you make coming in late? Tater tot cash for it should be in the title of the video. Is it not in the title? It should be. Well, honestly, she came at the perfect time because I'm, before before that I was waiting for the food for this. Still alive, make yourself some. I don't know what I should do. I was gonna do a video, but I'm not really feeling it. You go, I could, I could go live. Maybe should I go live? You want? I could go live. Okay. It's 
it's a month. The problem is a Valentine's Day is on a Monday, and oh, I hate Mondays. Oh my god. Um, you know I did. All right, guys, I will go live. What should I do? What should I eat? What should I drink? I don't want to spend a lot of money on wine because I just wasted it. I don't like wine that much, <laughs> believe it or not. Very quick. All right. You know, I thought about making steak shrimp. <laughs> I feel like a lot of work, but money is gonna be so hard. Right I'm living your best life right now. <laughs> Take out? Okay, where? I need some sour cream. Well, this is, has to have sour cream on it. Oh yeah, hell is our cream, guys. This is oh, that's too much. Oh. Who's rich? I don't know if they're not the super crunchy. <laughs> I mean, they're good, but they're really not, actually. <laughs> Is Richard here? I don't see him. <clears throat> you baked them beforehand? Okay. And uh, maybe I'll try that next time. Y'all fry them? Oh yeah, maybe. Steak, shrimp, salad, shrimp tempura. Oh, Richard, I don't have seen him. Oh, that's weird, Happy. They were returned because it was undeliverable. Why? That's weird. I've been checking my messages. I'm sorry, I've been checking my PO box more than normal because I'm using my PO box more for my mail. No, I don't have a date uh, if you're talking to me. But I might go live. It's okay, Happy. I have a lot of I have a lot of um face masks anyways. No problem. 
But um, thank you for your consideration. I appreciate that. I might go live, but the problem is it's a, it's a Monday, and I just don't like Mondays. But maybe if I take a nap, maybe if I take a nap or something, I don't know what I'm going to do. Let's see how much energy I have. I am single, can't you tell? <laughs> you can't tell I'm single? I have a small dessert that I got from the Dollar Tree. Nothing, nothing too crazy. So this is no, it is kind of heavy, but it's just a small dessert. I don't know you guys like when I have desserts. Oh, what am I filming on? I guess you missed the video. I guess you were. I guess you left. Maybe you didn't. See, maybe you didn't see the whole video, but um. I got a new phone. <laughs> got the iPhone 13. So good. You, you notice it without even telling you. That's really cool. You said it's worth the worth of the upgrade. You in and out? Okay. I don't have to go Monday. Oh, really? You have the seven. We've been talking about getting the iPhone, new iPhone for a while, but since I have one, I'm back to my weekly vlog, so starting next week, you'll see a weekly vlog. I have a $100 I Android, really. Let's give up the corn. Oh, this is the corn's really sweet. I found these coconut, I think chocolate candies at the Dollar Tree, so I thought I would try them out. I haven't tried them out yet. I don't know if they're any good or not. So something small. But yeah, this is exceptional. Mm. Really good. Amazing. Well, <clears throat> coconut, really. 
One. One done. I'm so much help over. Oh my god. Oh, by the way, if you have a family, kids will love this recipe. Kids, kids love the bear top, so. This is so good. Oh, especially the corn. Sweet corn. Mmm. So tomorrow we'll just heat this up in the microwave, a little salad, then um, and then basically I'll probably start editing my slider video. I don't know if I want to get to that or not. Um, and then after that I'll probably edit my Starbucks video. Thank you, Happy. Maybe it was a different kind of coconut. All tots have been taken care of. It was good with the olives. I'm going to do that next time. Thank you, Happy. You take care too. I'll send your card soon. I was waiting for your package and I was going to send your card and say, hey, thank you for the package. And then we got the package. So. I'll send your card out soon. <laughs> Sorry, it's taking so long. Well, I don't, is it coconut from a, dirt, a chocolate you had or was it a different kind of coconut? The cookie, maybe. <laughs> Try shredded pork on tots. Oh, really, shredded pork? So um, I got a lot of people reached out to me. Um, I did a live at my work. It was actually a pretty cool live, but um, <laughs> basically, and a lot of people wanted, they were really disappointed that that video was made it private. And um, the reason why it's private, I private that video was because I showed some signs at my workplace and I wanted to play it safe. So I really probably, I probably really shouldn't, I probably shouldn't go live at my work. Guess it's just, I don't know, people might watch my videos at work. I don't know. So, and a lot of people were like, hey, I missed your video. When are you going to go live again? So I was like, okay, I'll go live on Sunday. I'll just cook for you guys. So, yeah. I don't have coconut mouth anymore. Oh, boy. Oh, that's cool. Um, jalapeno, if you like spicy. Yeah. Why couldn't you go live at work? No, I can go live at work. It's just like I showed the sign of where I worked. I didn't realize when I was outside. I, oh my god, you can see where I work at. That's not good because you never know, you know. It's not good. And um, because I had a well, I'll tell you that there. I had a bad experience. So, anyways, um, so I just put the video on private because I don't want people to know where I worked at. That's why. Oh yeah, somebody, I don't know who it was, one or two people told me the makeup and I bought the makeup and it's really good. I like the foundation, it's really good. I really like the foundation a lot. I used it in my video. Oh, I'm wearing it right now. So if you see me, if you can tell my face looks better, maybe it's the foundation, I don't know, or maybe it's something else. My nephew. Oh, 
Did you use a busy plunger to put in? I did. Hi. Um, did you miss my live? How did you know that I was, I was about the makeup though? If you missed my live. Do it. All right, let me get the foundation. One or two people recommended this, and I was like, okay, well, I'm just gonna get it. Um, it's called, and they said I, they think my face will, they said it matte would be good for me, so it's called Fit Me Matte and Poreless. I don't know which one this, what number this is. I think it's 115, so that's what it looks like. Can you guys see that? Okay. Okay, um, let's see here. Let's see if I can, um... Oh, it went private as you're watching. I know. I, I've done that before. When, when Steven Sushi does the same thing sometimes and he goes live and it's... You sound like Nikocado. Huh? Sorry about that. I won't delete this video, guy, because I'm at home. I don't, I'm not sure I remember. Um, it's Maybelline Fit Me, but it's the matte one. Oh, you like maybe I'm me? It was pretty cheap too. Um, I, I already wear foundation. Well, okay, well basically this is what I do is I I wear foundation. I wear makeup when I did my videos. So when I did my Starbucks video today, I put makeup on. When I did my sliders video yesterday, I put makeup on. But I don't really put makeup on at work. But I do only for videos. I put makeup on, I put eyeshadow, I put mascara and lipstick. You may not see it in my videos because my because it's like I put my makeup's on light. I don't like it really heavy. So you maybe you don't, maybe you don't even tell I have it. I don't know. But I like to have a light makeup, not so heavy. Hi, Kenneth. You have eczema. I watched you watch Girl Archives. Am I doing any more TV show reviews? Do you want me to? I just I finished Girl Archives really good. I don't know. I'm I don't know if that was a good video. I'm just not really sure. I don't know. If you guys want me to do a TV show review, let me know. I can give you my first impression of the first um, episode. <laughs> I, if you want, I don't know. I don't even know if I, I don't even know if it's a good video. I'm good, Kenneth. How are you? Yeah, all, all you deserve. Give me give me about fifteen minutes to digest my stomach. You should watch a furio. If it's a show that I like, furio. What's it about? Tell me what's it about first. React to super scary movies or videos. Oh, really? Lock and key. I, I, you know, I started watching it and I stopped. I need to watch it again. Oh, you like, like makeup too? I know, so. Can I watch a horror movie live? Yeah, that sounds a great idea. Which, which one? It should be one that I haven't watched, right? Or should, it should be. Pick. Pick which one. Hasha ho horror movie live. That's 
Why does it sound fun? It's a, oh, we're like high schoolers and one of them has a drug problem? Oh, is this one they call it again? that movie so I can put it on my computer. Um, for E U P H E U P H Oh whoops I must turn my, I can't turn the light on, I was like, turn the light on. Oh, I want to see that. Susan, oh, this uh, teen series. Season one. Okay. HBO. Wait, is this HBO? I don't have HBO. Oh, I'm, I want to see this. But I don't have HBO, guys. Oh my god, that is scary. But do I need Netflix to watch a for real? Okay. Never not for real. Your area is mega haunted. I heard Colorado's hot and haunted. Okay. My channel is to take a turn. Oh, really? Gun turn. My channel is so mixed. I just feel like <laughs> it's just so mixed. It's like, I don't even know. The rain. I have seen the rain. I have to go back to these comments. Um, Friday the 13th. Ooh, that's scary. Oh, Night House was good. The Night House, never seen it. Well, that might be a good movie to watch. I'd like to see a movie I haven't watched. That's where you're at from this one with all. It's brilliant. It's amazing. It's wild. Mm. 
Really? Couple of kids last year on TikTok found two dead bodies in suitcases? Ugh, that's not funny. Okay, um... The night house. Let me see if that's around. The night house. The thing that it is when I was watching the, the Kurbakai, like a live reaction, the not many subscribers were in that the night house. Let's see here. This one's about. Do you guys believe in ghosts? I think there's something in my house. How long is this movie? My husband took a boat out in the lake. He took a handgun that I didn't even know that we owned and... Did he kill himself? He did. Oh my god. Sounds scary. Oh my god. Backwards. That's weird. All right, guys. Um, I'm not getting any live messages on my phone. What happened? Did I pause it? Oh, I'm gonna tell you guys what am I watching right now. I'm not sure what's going on YouTube. Oh, wait, maybe I can go on my computer and do it. I'm not getting your messages. Let me see what you're saying. Maybe I have too much Wi-Fi going on or something. Maybe messages on one second. Oh really? I can watch a free I wanna watch I wanna watch that's a movie I wanna watch. Or show, whatever you call it. That looks really good. I like those kind of movies about drugs and that sort of stuff. Like Breaking Bad was my favorite TV show of all time. It was about some kind of drug, I forget what it was called.
You want a homemade egg? That's funny you said that because I'm eating an egg salad tomorrow for lunch. <laughs> Copyright strike? I can't get a strike. I just won't, my video won't be monetized, but I don't really know because it's not playing any music, just a movie. I don't really know. What's the plan for Valentine's Day? People want me to go live, so I don't know what I'm gonna do. Well, I don't know if and uh, people were like, this live Valentine's is on a Monday. It's just like, oh my god. So I don't know if I should go live like, oh my god. Uber eats to be busy. Oh, I need to my view of Uber's on it. For some reason, my phone's, I think I'm using too much Wi-Fi. Can't do my phone. My computer's not working anymore. Well, anyways, I think I'm gonna have some coffee and dessert. I'll show you the dessert and I'll make some coffee and yeah. Um, and if you enjoy this live, give me a like. I have 19 likes, it'd be cool to have 20 likes. Get somebody like dislikes because you came late today. What happened?
right, so I have to get to college. Um, okay, just still here. 22 people. Coffee's brewing right now. So good. Where is this one? No, no. So here guys, I'm just waiting for the coffee. I don't even know if I can get my messages because it's not even like if I even got messages. Asking where I was it was. No, that wasn't that wasn't to you. Oh wait, oh I did ask where you were actually. Sorry. So oh, yeah, um, I think it's from the dollar store. It's called Coconut Patty. So it's chocolate and coconut inside. I have not had this before. So I thought I would just have that with some coffee after the coffee brews. But I didn't, can't read my comments. Hold on. Well, anyways, let's see what's happening right now. We're just making coffee. Guys, we're waiting on the coffee. I don't know. Okay, let's see. I'm reading that. There's a lot of comments. I'm just here. Um, hmm. Thanks for liking it, because I wanted to... Uh, yay, dessert. Uh, 
America was built on casseroles. When, yeah, when I was younger, we did have a lot of casseroles. And I don't particularly like casseroles with like a lot of cream and like soup, can of soup. But this one does not have can of soup. This what it's called. Um, in the past, when I was younger, I used to make these Mexican casseroles. It's really simple, like corn tortillas, cheese, rice, or, or cheese and chilies, or maybe some chicken. I've been wanting to make another, like, Mexican casserole. What's the plan for the rest of his life? Ooh, what's the plan? You want to know details, huh? We are going to have coffee, and we are going to have some dessert. How's that sound? I, Ozark, yes, I've been watching Ozark. So, it looks like the coffee is done, so let me get that out and you can start the live back. Guys. <laughs> And I'm not trying to ignore people. It's just like I'm waiting on the coffee. You know what I'm saying? Let me get this out of the way. I was at church today and you guys would be very surprised that there was donuts. I didn't have any. I had coffee. Oh, they're packaged individually. Hmm, interesting. Okay, let's try it out. I wish I could read my comments on my other phone. Just like, I don't know what's going on. Maybe it's too much Wi Fi. Oh, I can read my computer. That's what I'll do. Oh, no, I can't. My computer's not working either. This will be so hard to read the messages so far. Okay, I don't know what the messages say, but whatever. Okay, so we're trying these from the Dollar Tree. They're like coconut inside chocolate on the outside. I need to see this. Only moved past 
You really just blew past the tap on. Yeah, we're now to copy and dessert. Here we go. Chocolate. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, I thought that would be coconut like in the middle. But it's actually just like the picture. Coconut chocolate something. Wow. Not bad. Around me of the almond joy. It's actually really good. For a dollar twenty-five because they raised the prices from a dollar to dollar twenty-five, so they're not they may look hard, but they're not really hard. Um And we're in the freezer. I mean, I'll try the freezer. You're in the refrigerator. But. This is really, they're really good. I mean, like. It's like a perfect, like, light snack after dinner. It's not like so heavy, like a big piece of pie or a cake or whatever right now. Oh, really? That candy from the Dollar Tree? It was hard. Wow. I'm going to get those scissors. I already had my tater tots, guys. Oh, David's still here. It's the Mercer and Almond Joy. Actually. Coffee's good too. Yeah, this is a perfect Sunday to end. Relax, work the next week. Nothing going on for next week. Just work, 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 work. Auntie Pasta has other flavors. Oh, really? This is good. I like how they're individually packed. If you want like a little snack after lunch. This is, I love this. This is good. Wait, I don't have any clients next week. I don't know what it is. They have orange, lime, and rum. Really? They are big in Florida. Oh, are they hard? I think they are made there. Check on the label, maybe. Oh. Let's see here. Where are they made? Yep, you're right, Florida. Right. Oh, it's just so good though. Like, I'm like, well, yeah, so yeah. Yeah, I thought this was different. I never seen it before. Um, so, well, it says real famous. I would get these again though. It's really cool. Um, yeah. 
Chipotle. So what else should we talk about? Um, the Drew Crest. <laughs> I really should write my Filipino videos this weekend or this week. I really should do my Filipino stuff because I've been wanting to do my Filipino. When I need, yeah, I should do Jollibee next. Like I think I might do Jollibee next week. Next week. So I'm not gonna put that on the Care Bear channel so people will get because I have a couple of Filipino cooking videos coming on the Care Bear channel. So I'm gonna add. So again, more subscribers for Filipino on that channel, and then. Um, after that, I'll just start doing my other Filipino videos, but, um, yeah, I'm getting there. Everybody be, uh, oh, yeah. Lumpia. You all, okay. Lumpia, yeah. Um, yeah, there, a lot of Filipinos have Lumpia. I'm going to do some cooking videos. I'm going to go out and get some Filipino. One of the videos I want to make is Filipino spaghetti, and I don't know, I might make a couple of dishes just to... That's what I'm trying to do, guys, to switch my channel. I'm going to need to get more Filipino followers. Follow me. Because Filipino, they love when you do Filipino food. They will support you. People who film Filipino videos, I mean, they, they the views are really high, so... But, you know, I'm not going to just do only Filipino, but... What's the next jelly you I think I might do that this weekend. Next weekend or something. Karen, you're so cool. Thanks. Um, yeah. I want to film two Philip. Philip, Philip I want to film two jelly videos. Um, Filipino food. I, you, you know, I'm doing a Filipino challenge, right? I'm going to be eating... I'm going to be doing eight videos of Filipino food every Friday for two months and I want to do um, cooking videos eating at eating at Filipino restaurants I'm like I probably take a ticket I find not eating there I probably take a picture and eat it and maybe we'll eat it there maybe I'll be back home um making some Filipino food I'm gonna try some Filipino desserts um so just like just gonna mix it up and just want to see if I can get some Filipino followers following is, you know, just change up for my like regular videos, you know. I am not getting that many followers, but but TikTok is helping a little bit. I'm getting some followers from TikTok. Did you make this up pretty cool? Yeah, for actually I've been thinking about this for a while. I once already I already did one. I made a Filipino breakfast, so that's one video. But I haven't I haven't done any I was waiting for my new phone to come because sometimes when I film on my old phone it would make the static noise and that the video would be just be, it would just be a damaged video. Like, so the reason why I thought about this, I was thinking about like, what is my highest video? And I eat with Karen, it's the Filipino, anything Filipino, like Jollibee, anything Filipino. I found the Filipino restaurants, always the highest, always. Filipino style tots. Oh, do they have Filipino style tots? Never heard of it. How's, how's that? What's that, what's that about? Um, so I just thought I would just do like eight videos every Friday. I just, I just haven't been, I'm going to start doing that soon. I need to start doing that soon. I want to get really focused. Um, so maybe the next weekend, either Friday or Saturday. Definitely do another, oh yeah, I'm going to do Jollibee on this channel because I'm going to do some cooking videos of Filipino on this channel. So I want to get followers from, and I also want to do another Jollibee on the Eva Karen, but. I'm going to do a, a, probably two or three Jolly Bee videos. No, maybe two on Eva Karen. Because I want to try other stuff too. Not just spaghetti and chicken. Hi, Mary. Um, what else? I don't know if I'm going to film. I don't have any other ideas for videos. Just, but I should just... Oh, I know. I know. I'm going to do some healthy videos. Film some healthy videos, cooking videos, or more cooking, cooking videos. I want to do like, um, so I saw this recipe. 200 videos. Chick-fil-A. 
Oh, I changed my mind of the apartment. I was going to look, but I'm like, I'm so close to my sister, five minutes away. Like, we went to church together, and it was just down the street. I live by tons of fast food restaurants and like fast food, so I could easily do videos of my house if I want to do a breeze. I mean, I just feel like it's, you know, I could get an apartment, but I have to travel 30 minutes away because it's, I can't afford an apartment in my area. It's really, and I was like, you know what? I, and I filmed on a Starbucks video outside today, and I was like, I really like filming outside. I know I'm not moving. I thought about it, but I changed my mind. Um, I just, I just, I like this place a lot. I just, I just need to declutter. I think that's what it, what the problem is. That why I'm not happy and I want to declutter. But no, I'm not moving. I thought about it though. But unless something happens, like the like the, my new neighbor's loud or the dog barks twenty four seven, Burger King has her home. Oh my god, or like she raises my rent like a lot of money or something. My background is really so. I filmed a Starbucks video. I'm gonna do a lot of cuts because because the park, because the trucks and the vegan food. I've done a few on my eat with Grandma. Uh, I just don't like a lot of soy products, so I don't do a lot of vegan food. But oh yeah, so I might. My... I think I'm doing this video this week. It depends on how I feel. Um, fish tacos from Trader Joe's. Somebody did a, a video on how to make fish tacos and just by using Trader Joe's products. Arby's, yeah, the thing about Arby's is it's not very close to me. I have to pay for a bridge. Um, I'm not big on vegan food. If I was going to be honest, I'm not big on it. Arby's, I was not too close to me. I know, it's kind of far. And then I had to pay for like six, seven bucks for the bridge. I just feel like it's not, unless I go out there, but I feel like it's not. I can get a winter essential. I don't have to pay for bridge. Um. Or Sonic. Oh, that's right. Oh, I know what I need to do. A few people gave me gift cards. I need to do those. Someone gave me a Burger King. Somebody gave me a Sonic. So I would like to do those videos for you guys. That's what I need to do. Philly cheesesteak. Really? That sounds good. <laughs> Philly cheesesteak talks. Really? So, yeah. Um... Philly cheesesteak is amazing. Yes, it is. Um, we, me and Andrea did a Philly cheesesteak video. I don't know if you remember that, but um, um yeah, it, we we have a couple of Philly cheesesteak places in this area. That would be really good to go to. Yeah, I could see that. Do you stream? Do you stream ums in your grocery store? Do you have stream? I don't know what that means. You can make your own. Yeah. Well, steak home? Oh, I think we do. I think we do. I think I've seen that. I know where you are at, my dude. You are at my dude. I'm not sure what that means. <laughs> do you like sunny light? Do you like Sunday light videos? Do you prefer Friday, Saturday, or Sunday? If I do Sunday, I could do a good video and I could tell you what I can make. Um, have you been to my dude? I have, but most of the products are soy, and I, my body doesn't like soy products, so it's really hard. I even asked about the tacos that were vegetarian. They had soy, so it's really hard to eat. I could do vegetarian, but I don't want, I can make it. I just rather than make it because I don't like soy, you know, and everything is soy, and it's not good for me. Like, for me, I get allergic. I get, like, starting to get sore throat if I have a lot of soy products, so. I try to stay away from soy products if I can. Um, but there's a lot of Filipino restaurants in my area, so I'm just like, I need to start doing those Filipino videos. I should, yeah, I want to start doing like, um, I tried soy milk in my coffee and it's horrible. Really? 
Yeah, I'm gonna try doing more like. Maybe I should try. I'm gonna try to do more mukbang. Oh, well. so like um, maybe one Filipino video a week, so I can cut. So I can get cut up. I want to make Filipino spaghetti. That sounds so good. Um, I don't like oat milk either. You don't. Um, I had it in coffee. I think it's not too bad, but I haven't had a lot of oat milk, so I really can't compare. I just had a one coffee from Starbucks. So. Yeah. So, have you noticed that, like, Starbucks, like, I went there's today, and, um, they're, like, um, definitely make your own Filipino. Yeah, I don't think it's that hard. I'm sure there's good recipes online. Um, I'm thinking about it. Um, that'd be a really good video. Yeah, so. So, like, what do you, let me know if you, what do you guys prefer. Or I can mix it up. I could do, like, a Friday Night Live, maybe, like, fast food or pizza or something like that or Saturday I could do like fast food or pizza or, or Sunday night I could just like cook um like maybe a healthy dinner or healthy something where you know you know what I'm gonna be making on Sunday night like let me know if that's if you prefer a certain day or I could mix it up and do like Fast food every so often on Friday or Saturday, and I could do Sunday. Um, yeah. That's so funny. I was just thinking about nachos. Um, I've been wanting to make homemade nachos for a while. So that's interesting. So the nachos, nacho tots. Why are you guys talking about tots? Can we just get off the tot? Ugh. Can we just get off the tot subject? We're not doing tots. We're having coffee now. <laughs> you know, San Diego is nice. Oh yeah, what was that called? Oh, corn salad fries. Okay. Yeah, thank you, David. Thank you. We're done with that. <laughs> so. um it's incredible down here, is it? Living here in my home. Oh, San Diego? San Diego is very, very nice. It's probably... In fact, um, I think there was a video on what's the best place to live. I don't know, it's either California or the United States. Like, San Diego is really high up there. Um, I'm sure... I heard Florida was nice, too. Um, just by the beach or something. Um... San Diego has a perfect weather, really good Mexican food. I've heard. I haven't been. Do they have good Mexican food in San Diego? Um, and like, I don't know. It's just like, um, yeah, they have a good vibe. They have a lot of water down there. They have a lot of, there's a be they have beaches. They have, a, they have a nice pier. Um, so there's a lot of stuff in San Diego. Um, I agree that it's a really good place. My mom and brother live in San Diego. So, it's really nice, actually. Uh, th this is, um, the coffee is a Starbucks. It's a, it's called a vanilla cream K-cup thing. Um, so with, I just added half and a half and a little sugar, nothing too crazy. I usually like to have coffee in the evenings, just to relax, chill, you know. How do you guys, what do you guys do in the evenings? Do you have tea? Do you have coffee? What do you do? Do you watch movie, TV, on your, on your tablet, your phone? For me, I just like to have coffee. Sometimes I'll watch Netflix. Sometimes I'll watch YouTube. Um... To show you what I've been watching on on YouTube. I'm watching this, 
this channel. I don't know. Well, hey, um, Heather, I don't know if it's fake or not. Can you guys tell me? The problem is my computer. I don't know. Maybe it's maybe I can't do my computer. Let me see if I can go my history. Oh, I can go my history table. Um, let's see. How to make five thousand dollars a month with a side hustle? That's what I'm watching today. Um, what else am I watching? Oh, this guy is named Jack Dohadri. Jack D O H E R T Y. You guys ever watch him? I don't know if it's a prank or not his videos, but he got kicked out of his apart his his apartment or his house in Los Angeles because neighbors were complaining. But I don't know if it was actually true or paint or prank. This kid is eighteen. He has like millions of followers by doing YouTube. He has like over two or three million subscribers. This is crazy. Guys, watch this kid. I can't send you the link because. My computer won't let me. I don't know what's happening. I like to watch YouTube true crime or ASMR. Oh, really? Boardwalk? Oh, really? Make millions doing random. Oh. Um, I just got home and saw this. Oh, cool. Cool, yeah. Um... I already had, I already ate, so. <laughs> Just chilling right now. You miss out on the thoughts. Better late than never. Yeah, that's true. Heather was the one that recommended, guys, the. What's that? What was that burger place I went to? About the DoorDash thing? What's that place called? Red, Red Robin. I think she was the one that I'm pretty sure she recommended me to try Red Robin. And, um,. And that's what I talked about, the DoorDash incident. So, in case you were, but this is a, um, this is, this happened before, early in the video. I don't know if you guys, were, I don't know if you guys were here, remember or anything. But, uh, but if you guys wanted to know why I got deactivated from DoorDash, it's on that video. Eat with Karen, Red Robin. It's the only Red Robin video I've done. I don't know why. It's, it's pretty good, but. <laughs> yeah, it was a, uh, yeah. Oh, that was, that was a hacker? Oh, really? That's interesting. So, yeah. Thanks, guys, for taking care of that. I appreciate that. So, um, yeah, I didn't know what that was. That was kind of weird. Thank you. Thank you very much. Guys, should me and Heather do a video together? Heather, would you want would you want to do a video with me? She's still here. <laughs> we talked on the on the like, messenger like what do you call that the messenger like the um, Instagram video call and she her voice is really relaxing. I don't know if she's still here, but come on, do it, do it. I need some subscribers to do videos with me, guys. My channel's getting boring, you know. I need I need some of you guys to do videos with me. I think she's four hours from me. Oh no, I think she lives by Santa Barbara. Yeah, any plans? Um, people want me to do live, but I don't know if I should do a weekend live or a Monday night live. Maybe I should just. We shouldn't talk. We should have. Yeah. A few subscribers talk to me on the phone. 
San Diego. The problem, okay, this is the problem. I can't really meet anybody in San Diego because I've tried to, I think Heather left is fine. Um, too bad. I tried to, and like my mom and brother just get upset because, um, I take, if I see, so I was going to be a subscriber and they were just like, I don't want to meet your man. Like, okay, whatever. Like, they just, I don't know if they were just, I don't know what, what they were doing, but, um, um, it's just so hard. They just, they don't want me to meet. And when I was in Vegas, they're like, well, I don't want to meet your YouTube. I don't want to meet your YouTube man. I'm like, I'm not going to meet anybody in Vegas. Like, I don't know. There's just really this sensitive, like. And they say one if they spend money out to see me, home enchiladas. Mm, yeah, that's a good. That's a good idea. That's actually a great. Maybe I should do that next live. Mm, cheesy enchiladas with some salad on the side or something, or beans. I don't know. Um, so it's just really hard to meet people in San Diego. I don't know. Cause it's like, I don't know, it's like the same. Richard, would you do a video with me? I could go to San Diego and not tell my mom. <laughs> and then that'd be fine. <laughs> do whatever makes you happy. Thank you, David. Thank you. You would? Really? Good. Richard, would you do a video with me? Let's hook it up. What do, you, what do you want to do for a video? What kind of food should we do? Mexican? <laughs> Since you do live in San Diego. <laughs> if I live closer to you, I love... Oh, yeah, I know. So many people want to do a video with me, but they live so far. You do live really far, actually. It's almost so... You gotta get... Oh, you want to get pizza? I can do it. I won't have to tell my mom because she might be like, You went to San Diego. You need to see me. I'm like, I'm a cabo. Pizza is my favorite, but we can do Mexican. No, I like pizza too. Do you have a favorite pizza restaurant in San Diego? Do you like, is it like, do you like a chain restaurant or do you like more like an independent restaurant? Secret Pizza Run? Secret Pizza? Is that a restaurant name? Hi, Royal Elizabeth. How are you? Lugini, Lug, Lug, Luginis or Luginis? Downtown? Luginis? L U I G. Let me check it out. Oh, it looks like it's in San Francisco, too. Let me see here. San Diego. Let's see. Pete, here it is. Four out of five stars. Oh, they're open late. A lot of places these days don't open too late. They have sliced pizzas too. It's interesting. Looks like a good authentic place. I think they specialize in sliced pizzas, looks like. The meat and cheese looks good. It looks like sausage. See if I got any comments I have to read. I'm not sure. 
Oh, Heather, you're back. Did you, um, so I have a question to ask you. Would you do a video with me? <laughs> I used to know you live by San Francisco, Santa Barbara. It's New York side. Oh, okay. A secret pizza meeting? <laughs> Oh, he went there? Only fun to no pressure. It sounds fun. It just, it just, right now, it's just kind of hard to take time off and to travel right now. It's the problem. Do you ever travel, Richard? Are you, are you always in San Diego? I'm glad you're friends. Oh, yeah, me too, David. Thank you. Me do a video? I'm so hit. No, do a video with me. I was just telling everybody we talked on the phone. You remember like Instagram video call? And your voice, I didn't tell you this, but your voice just sounds so calming. <laughs> oh no, do a video. <laughs> yeah, I live here in San Diego. I would just tell everybody it'd be kind of cool to meet subscribers and do videos. I just feel like my channel needs to, I don't know. I want just to, yeah, your voice is really nice. Like, I don't know, it's calming to my ears. I really like your voice. It's, it's really nice. We should all try to meet up. Okay, where? Wait, where? <laughs> where should we meet up? Probably at LA. And meet each other at once. That'd be really cool. And meet each other at once. That'd be cool, actually. Where, but where? You're in San Diego too? Really? Do you guys know each other? We could be friends too. Yeah. I'm offline. We all need a consistent. I thought about doing a video, I mean, a, a, a live meetup in the Bay Area. But I do have quite a few subscribers in Southern California. I think more than the Bay Area. I'm, I'm, I'm almost for sure. Yeah, it is definitely more than the Bay Area. But that'd be cool. We met through you, Karen. And we played Mario Control. What? I, I, have this, I can't read this. We met through you, Karen, and we play Mario Kart. You play Mario Kart? I love talking to you. I would love to meet with you and whoever follows you. That would be amazing. Yeah. Yeah. I can't wait for you to view my video, Heather. <laughs> I want to mind. That's one of the, one of my goals this year is to meet more subscribers and be fun to do videos together. Or I could do, put you guys on my weekly vlog when we meet. That'd be cool. It'd be really fun. Nobody in the Bay Area has reached out to me about meeting up with me. It'd be really just fun. Be in the same place. Yeah, it would be. That'd be fun. Yeah, so they could make a TV show about us. Yeah, <laughs> that'd be fun. Totally. Yeah, the only thing I would. I was a little concerned about is if I would 
about how he thinks I'm feeling a little. Um, is about like if I made this public, like everybody would meet up with me. Um, what if I got some haters that didn't really like me and killed me or something? No, there was this one singer on YouTube. She was really famous. I forgot her name. And I, I, I don't know if it was a fan or who it was, but they killed her. And I've definitely had a few haters in the, in my past. So um, that's the only one thing I would just, I was thought about doing a meetup, but then I thought about that. I wasn't sure if it was safe. You know, you don't know who's watching you. A lot of people, there's a few haters, so. But I think you guys are okay. But a lot of people don't, don't comment on my videos. They don't comment on my live videos. Was she on The Voice too? Yeah, she was. Yeah, she started on YouTube. I can't believe that she died. I mean, I, I know she was shot and I was hoping she wouldn't die, but she died. It's so sad. She was on The Voice. She's really, really good. I'll bring my galot. Don't worry, I got you. I don't know what that, what's that mean? <laughs> yeah. I'm trying not to put out that style. Maybe I just go mine a second, watch a second. Oh, you're there to protect you? Protect me? Yeah. Hopefully. You never know. Not just like one on one. Yeah. Oh, that'd be fun. Catch any of the smoke. It'd be fun to like meet you guys. It'd be fun. Real life mobs. I would just say only invite those that you trust and be in the public. Oh, that makes a lot of sense, Heather, yeah. You have been to California years? Oh, really? Um, yeah, a lot of subscribers that live in the East Bay, I'm not sure, not East Bay, um, like East area, like Florida or New York, want to meet me and it's just like, it's really hard, you know. You live San Diego? I I agree. What do you do with what do you do in your spare time? There's beaches there. The weather's great. I think they that I think it's a better area, like the Bay Area. I feel like it's just a lot of crimes. I think it's better in San Diego. But like the Bay Area, these little small cities are just like really bad cities or just like um I don't know. There's like a lot of crime or something. You know, it's not safe. I don't really feel like my area is too super safe, but Castro was freaking amazing. O N G, like so good and so easy. You work in the weed? Oh really? I don't go to the beach as much as I should. Oh really? I heard stores get robbed a lot. Yeah, they do. Lately, they have. And I spend my time doing outdoor stuff. Oh, that's cool. That's nice. You, you work too, right? And 
and play video games on occasion. Cool, cool. Gonna have that time to relax and chill. I get it, I get it. I used to play video games when I was young, but I don't know. I just buy the Xbox. I could be with my nephew, but I, mean, I just was like, I was never good with the games, and it just, I got out of it after a while. What kind of games do you play? Is it Xbox, PlayStation, or is it computer games? I want a movie marathon. What does that mean? Do you want to watch a movie or do you want to go to the movies? Oh, Nintendo. You know, wow. My nephew's like the Nintendo. I love my Switch. Oh, really? Wow. How old are you guys? Are you teenagers? I just, I'm just saying because my nephews are teenagers and they like Nintendo. I don't know about Switch. It just seems so old. I don't know. Simple and approachable. Oh, just chill and watch a bunch of movies. That sounds cool. I'm 35. Okay, I'm just asking. I'm sorry. <laughs> I liked the Wii. Yeah, I had the Wii. Actually, I didn't have the Wii when I was when I was five years five years later. Not you later, younger five years ago. <laughs> I had the Wii and I did the Wii Fit thing. That was fun. I did I did that for a little bit. I like that. That's fun. April? What, what? When in April? You're 22. I know you're young, David. Whoa. Ah. I don't know you're younger. Just a baby, David. 22. <gasps> you're experiencing a Nintendo. A little bit. Um, you know my babe. You know my birthday is April twenty fourth, right, Heather? What are you gonna do on your birthday? So guess what, Heather? I wasn't gonna celebrate my birthday, and my mom, my brother, can't afford it, so it's the trip's canceled. So I'm a little bit bummed. I don't know what I'm gonna do on my birthday. My birthday's on a Sunday, so. Well, I need to go to bed. All right, I know it's late. Good night, Richard. I'm gonna go listen to it. Yeah, good night. Y'all best. You are the best. Have a good night. You too, Richard. Thank you for showing up on my live video. I'm not doing anything. I know, but I have your birthday saved. I wanna do something on my birthday. What should I do? Just go live. <laughs> <laughs> I want to do something fun. But I don't know. I like to do fun things on my videos. This Oh, that's nice, David. Thank you. I like to do nice things. Video games are brain. I like to do um fun things on my channel. So my channel is not boring. <laughs> you know, you know what I'm saying? So like, like traveling, I don't know. So I want to start doing more traveling videos, but the money is tight. So I might have to do some Uber Eats or something. I'm not really sure. But I don't know if to do that my birthday. I'm just like disappointed that my mom and brother can't. can't. And Sarah is my favorite city of all time. It's so beautiful. I might go to... I don't know. 
I could do some. Also, I've been wanting to go to Lake Tahoe. Um, not big on board games. I don't know why. I just not. For some reason, I'm just not big on board games. It's okay, Heather. I'll just um forget what else to do. I have no idea. I have no plan. My yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'll do nothing. I could stay home. Lake Tahoe. I've never been, but I heard it's the most beautiful place in the whole wide world. So my, that's my boss told me. He's like, you can't. I can't believe you've never been to Lake Tahoe. That's the most beautiful place ever. I'm like, what? It is. I need to go. Like, that could be a fun birthday for my birthday. So I don't know. But we'll see what happens. Um, you could go for a drive through in Northern Cal drive through. Yeah, I could. I could. I don't know. What I'm gonna do? Fire them up. Um. Yeah. No, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> so like, yeah, I made like so much already. But anyways, got. I'm gonna get ready to go because what time is it? Almost 10. Well, I have to work in the morning. Oh my G OMG. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm going to get ready to go. But I really appreciate you being here. Can't wait for the next live video. And my next couple of videos should be really good. Because it's with a new phone. <laughs> and thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.